Hey guys, what's going on? This is MyHC2 and others, and today I'm going to do a tutorial on how you can use your phone as a steering wheel for your PC games. So it's very, very simple, actually, one of the simplest things you can do. So all you got to do is go to your browser or on your phone, go to the Google Play Store. So we're just going to go to the Google Play Store and just type in JD Sim Wheel. And it's a simple application. It's completely free. This guy doesn't want any money from his application, which is really good. And actually, he's from a uh, the XD forums, so he um, actually posted a forum post over there, and um, linking us to this um, free application, which is great. The application doesn't even have any ads, so it's an ad-free, free application. Very nice. So um, once you download that application, you actually have the whole description and installation process right there in the description. So I'll just show you a brief moment how to do it. So once you download VJoy, um, it's completely safe, nothing, no viruses or anything. Once you download it, it's going to look like this. So if you type in VJoy, uh, you can configure, uninstall, or have VJoy feeder demo. Um, but just don't click on uh, VJoy, just download the application and leave it alone. It's a third party application, you don't need to touch it. So, second it says download and install the wheel server application. So, download his, um, uh, his application, and um, what that looks like is this it looks like this. So, once everything is done and good. Um, go ahead and download and install the Android uh, JD Simwheel app, but you should have done that already. It doesn't really matter. So, how do you use it? Well, you run the JD server on your PC. So, let's go ahead and do that. And um, then we go back and we run the application on our phone, which looks like this. So, now, what we're going to want to do is note the first time you run it, you need to click settings and enter your PC's IP. So, all we need to go do is click settings and enter our IP. If you don't know how to enter uh, your IP or find your computer's IP, go to your search, type in CMD and click on that. And once you click on CMD, type in, uh, what is it, IP config, and hit enter. And uh, you, see this, <coughs> you see this IP4, uh, IPv4 address, that is your computer's ad, uh, IP address. So type that in, and into this little box right here, and uh, there you go. So go back. And what you're going to want to do now is while you have your JD Simwheel server open, just hit this and then slash connect right there. And that allows you to be connected to application on your computer. So we're going to, I'm going to now show you how to, how to do this. So let's go ahead and open grid. This is what we're going to be. Um, running here for our game so in a game like grid or f1 2013 or any of those games you're gonna want to go into the controls so just go into options and then driving options and then controls once you go into controls just hit control to go into edit so to steer left you're gonna wanna turn the thing left so it's, it's a little weird but you want the up axis to turn left and then when you turn down you want the like a down axis so you're gonna wanna do it a little a little bit there and it's gonna go ahead and let you do that so for accelerate you can pick any button 
So I'll pick button four. But uh, let's click on that. You, you're gonna wanna click button four. Oh, it, it disconnected. Okay. Now you're gonna want click button four. Looks like it's not working right now, but it does work. So anyways, you can configure all of these right here. There we go, now it works. Oh, okay, it says button three on uh, on the Mac. <clears throat> so anyways, yeah, just configure all the controls to the buttons that you see here to whatever you want, map it to whatever you want, and you have a f game that works with your phone. So thank you guys for watching.